Hey, what's up guys? It is Saturday. Welcome to the weekend. I know I rarely ever make videos on the weekend, but it just so happens I'm out and about today for a few minutes and I uh, decided to throw a video up here for you guys. Uh, I hope you're having a great weekend so far. Uh, we're doing well. Uh, William and the wife are both healthy and happy and uh, doing well. Uh, thank you guys that uh, show your concern regularly. Man, you guys have no idea how much we appreciate that, the wife and I. You know, it's cool having friends uh, out there that care about you, care about your well-being, and uh, I definitely reciprocate that. I care about you guys, uh, and that's why I do this. You know, I try to dispense information, humor sometimes, <laughs> um, get you guys thinking, hopefully, and, you know, have an interchange of, an, of encouragement and ideas. And I think that benefits everyone. It, it keeps our brains moving. You know, a muscle will get weak if it's not exercised. Same thing with your brain. Keep your brain exercised. Uh, and with that, I want to talk about kind of the state of the situation in which we're at now. The left-right paradigm, Democrat, Republican, or Democrat, conservative. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. There you go. Long skinny pedal on the right. There you go. Good job. <laughs> okay. Um, so I've been watching a lot of mainstream media and alternative media, and I've come to the conclusion, I know we've already, we're already here, we already know this, but I'm just going to reiterate it, you know, to, to kind of pound, pound this point home. <sighs> How do I, I don't, I try to say things without annoying people, but then in my brain it clicks. And I think, you know what, fuck people, if they get annoyed, fuck them. So I try to, <laughs> I try to formulate in my brain how to say what I'm thinking. So uh, I'm going to say it just how it comes out. So here it goes. I complain about the left, the liberals, the Democrats all the time. We all do. Why? Because they're fucking retards for the most part. But I came to a conclusion after watching days and days and days of current uh, mainstream and alternative media sources... <clears throat> and about how far left, how radical the Democrats in the majority, you know, the majority of Democrats have gotten. And, you know, it actually, I, I actually had a moment of slight clarity and a little bit of hope. Because right now, from what I'm seeing, and disagree with me if, if you don't agree or agree with me if you do agree, we've been seeing a lot of left-wing, liberal, communist, socialist Democrats coming out I wouldn't say a lot, not enough but coming out basically saying fuck, the, the, the Democrats are fucked because of what they're doing they are destroying their chances of any sort of re-election or retaining the house or anything like that because they are so far left so radical even the moderate Democrats are saying oh shit, fuck, I'm backing off of this you know, they're not approving of it. Even if they hate Donald Trump to the core, they still have to admit that he has done some good, right? Even I admit it. I don't like the guy that much anymore just simply because of the, the gun laws. You know, passing more gun legislation, anti-gun legislation than Obama did. That's the biggest beef I got with the guy. But even with that beef, I still must admit he has done some good. I admit that. And I think a lot of the Democrats are admitting it too. They're getting sick of the games from the media and from the, the socialist, communist uh, Democrats in the different positions of power. They are seeing it. Their eyes are opening. You know, the, what was it, the hashtag walk away movement. Remember that? You know, where Democrats were just throwing up their hands saying, fuck this. I'm voting for Trump next time because the Democrats are whack jobs. So even if you consider yourself a Democrat or left-leaning, many still are waking up. Their eyes are being opened to how fucking batshit crazy their party is. I think a lot of them are seeing this. A lot of them are turning around. And I think if it comes in between like a Cory Booker and a Trump or a fucking Kamala Harris or a Beta Cuck O'Rourke, I don't think they'll vote for him. A lot of these people won't. Some of them will because they're still fucking batshit crazy. But I think 
the Democratic Party is turning off a lot of their moderates. A lot. I am no fan of Democrats. You guys know that. I am no fan. I believe they're rotten to the core and just idiotic, absurd, ridiculous, and crazy. I say this because of their actions and the things they say. You know, AOC. I mean, the, the New Green Deal. How much fucking more crazy do you need to get than that? And Democrats, being low-life losers as they are anyways, some of them still have a few brain cells left where they can see shit like that and say, fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> you know, one, it's impossible. It can never work. Financially, it can never work. It would crush the planet. It would, it would literally destroy the economies all over the world. This new green deal. So, first of all, it won't work. It's impossible. It cannot work. There's not enough money. There's not, you know, there's not enough. There's there's not enough time to be able to implement the new green deal without destroying us first. So those Democrats that are out there that still have a few brain cells left will see something like that and say, "What the fuck? You know, what is that horse face talking about?" And that's my part. Whoa, whoa, hold on, back up here, back this horse up, <laughs> back this horse face up. You know, so. Seeing what I've been seeing lately on the media, in the media, in its different forms, you know, it's slightly encouraging. Um, I don't see, unless, unless the Democrats pull some messiah out of their asshole, I don't see Democrats taking the White House in 2020. No fucking way. There's nobody of consequences running against Trump yet you would think if there were they would be on the campaign trail right now I mean we're only what 13 months away 12 months away the only thing really that the liberal left-wing socialist communist cocksuckers have are the Millennials the Millennials they are so radicalized thank you common core thank you state legislated schooling. Thank you fucking tie-dye wearing, ponytail having, Birkenstock fucking on their feet. Fuck. These, these teachers, these uh, professors that are out there brainwashing the children and the youth. They need to be on, on the list. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the only... You know, part of this equation that is not known because most of the millennials are they're too far gone all they care about is their Xbox and their fucking Hot Pockets and their iPhones fucking Spencers right that's all they care about all they want is free shit so they don't have to get out and work they don't want to use their hands they don't want to get dirty they want to play their fucking video games go to coffee bars, be fucking hipsters wearing knit wool caps in the middle of summer. Fuck, I see it every day here, guys, in Southern California. It's disgusting. Where the hell are these parents at? I know where they're at. It's so goddamn expensive to live here. Both parents need to work. Sometimes two jobs each. They're not around to raise their kids. That's why I thank God that I'm able to to bring enough money into the house to where my wife doesn't have to work. She could stay home with the kids, raise them properly. Which is very rare here in San Diego. So that's just my thought of the morning, you guys. What do you think about this? I mean, are you, do you feel a little bit, you know, uplifted or, you know, is your morale boosted a little bit knowing that the left are turning on themselves, they're devouring themselves? Now, who are you going to vote for? This is a rhetorical question. Who are you going to vote for? Am I going to vote for Trump? I don't know. Fuck, I don't know. Doubt it. Because I'm still kind of almost in the mindset to where I'm going to vote for the fucking worst candidate there is that will usher forth SHTF and let's just get this game going. That way my kids don't have to fight it. It's an idea. I'm not sold on it yet. You know, I've heard a lot of 
you guys talking about it as well, commenting on my the my uh, video that I made about that. But I mean, it's it's something. I don't know. But maybe I just won't vote at all. Maybe I just won't be a part of this bullshit system. I don't know. This country is so messed up. Unless Trump, and I made a video about this a couple weeks ago, if you guys remember, unless Trump comes out on the campaign trail and admits all the bullshit that he's been doing, all the gun bullshit, all the stuff that he's been doing against the Constitution, if he stands up and says, hey, conservatives, I'm sorry, guys, I had to do this just to get some uh, opposers on my side so I can implement other things, but now that I'm into a second term, all that shit's getting recalled. You know, I'm gonna fix all of this that I did. I, I created it with a pen. I can destroy it with a pen. We're going back to, you know, constitutional values. And I was, it was just a, a ruse just to get to where we're at now. Now let's fix all this shit. Because they can't get rid of me now. You know, I don't have to worry about a second term now. If he's to come out and say something like that, yeah, I could probably support the guy if it was just all a plan. I don't, I don't think that's going to happen. I'm not going to hold my breath. I'll tell you guys that right now. But if anyone was to do something like that, it would be fucking Trump, right? If anyone could pull something like that off, it would be him. I don't know, man. I've, one thing I do know is that I can count on myself to do the right thing. I could put my hope and my trust in myself because I know I'm not out there to fuck myself like these politicians that it is their goal in life to make sure we are destroyed in every way so I can trust myself so that being said I'm going to continue to prep I'm going to continue to you know work on my bug out location my my future off-grid ranch I'm going to take care of myself I'll take care of mine I'll do me you do you that's all we can do right now that's the best thing we can do right now what, what, what else are we going to do All right, guys. Uh, a few quick shout-outs. Uh, Roger Henderson, go uh, support him on his uh, trying to get on the ballot for uh, just Detroit's dis District 14. Uh, it'd be so cool if he got in. He, it, just to get on the ballot would be pretty sweet. Yeah, you know, that would be pretty pretty sweet. Uh, also support the R Syndicate.com. The R Syndicate.com. Find out where all your favorite YouTube creators are. So when we get bumped off know where to find us. Uh, I am being heavily shadow banned right now. I don't think I've gotten any increase in my subscribers in like six or eight months. <laughs> I used to, you know, regularly get, you know, 100, 150, 200 a month. You know, and sometimes it would spike to a thousand a month. I haven't gotten a goddamn, it's been slowly declining. Maybe I'm just a dick and nobody likes me anymore. Um, but it's been like holding steady at, what was it, 70, or 30, 3740 or something like that, 3730 for like six or eight months now. That's never happened in all these years I've been doing this, but it's happening right now. So I think it's safe to assume that I'm on one of their shit lists. <laughs> but that's cool. It just shows that uh, I'm pissing people off, and that's a good thing, you know, making people think. Uh, shout out to John, prepared mine, Detroit Prepping, Uman, my brother from another mother. Hopefully we get to see you next week, next uh, month, dude. That'd be awesome. And uh, Kaz, Kaz is going through some shit right now. Go visit the Curmudgeon channel. Uh, we had a great time yesterday until I showed up at the cantina and I had to stop watching. But you know, Kaz is going through some shit, but he's manning up and he's taking care of his business. And uh, you know, all, all my love and, and support to him. So there you go, guys. Your Saturday morning backcountry prepper video. What do you think about all this? I know it went kind of long, 14 minutes. But, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Maybe I can make another one later on today. I got some more driving to do later. And, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Take care of you guys. Until the next one, Perfect Thrive. See ya.